In this video today, I'm gonna to show you how to make a coloring page from your pictures. It's super easy. I'm gonna show you in Photoshop and I'm also gonna show you in GIMP. GIMP is free, Photoshop is paid. There are some different options for Photoshop and it's super easy. Let me show you how. Before we make a coloring page, we have to pick a picture. I'm gonna choose one from the Grand Canyon because we went there a few years ago and the colors are super vibrant. You don't have to do it exactly like the colors on the page when you color it. You can make it like it or you could add your own twist to it. You're gonna go up to filter, filter gallery, sketch, and then photocopy. And then you can slide around, you can make it lighter or darker. It's nice to make it dark if you just want the lines to show. If you don't want the lines to show, you can make it light. And then you're gonna print it out and you'll have a copy. You can color it however you want, as I said before. It'll be super fun. I can't wait to show the, you this. I might show you on Instagram or something what it looks like. The next one is GIMP. GIMP is a free program. It's kind of like Photoshop. For me, it's not as intuitive, but I wanted to give you guys the opportunity if you don't have Photoshop to be able to do this too. Because if you didn't have Photoshop and it costs money and you want to be able to make your own photography graphy uh, turn into pictures then uh, I mean coloring pages then you'll have the opportunity I don't know GIMP as well so I'm just playing around a little bit to look at the different filters that one obviously didn't work but look at how cute that dog is I don't know whose dog he is but he was at my wedding and he was super cute yeah this one's not working very well I'm gonna have to go in and I'm gonna go into filters I'm gonna find the filters here again it's under artistic and then under artistic is photocopy when you get it here when it came into Photoshop it was super dark but this one is super light so I'm gonna have to play with the mask radius the sharpness the percent black and the percent white to make this look the way I want it to and again as I said before in the Photoshop version you can make this as dark as you want or as light as you want if you don't want the lines to show then make it super light and then you can make your own lines you could do like an outline in a different color you could also change the black lines to like a different color if you wanted a brown because the puppy is more brown so there's a lot of things that you can do in photoshop i'll show you another time if you guys want me to how to change those lines but for now i just wanted to show you guys how to make this picture because i feel like this is a great tool to be able to do you could also bring this into another program such as illustrator and trace the lines because now you have the lines and you would be able to make a 3d not a 3d picture a digital painting of this which would be really fun also you know <laughs> take a picture and make it <laughs> into a digital painting look at i like the light lines i don't know why i didn't do that one that would have been really cool then you're going to save it and you're going to print it as you printed before and you're going to have this cute picture and you're going to be able to print it off it's going to come out we're going to examine it and make sure it showed up like it did on the computer it showed up like it did on the computer now it is ready to color what a cute puppy hope you guys like this video let me know what pictures you make if you make one from these steps tag me on instagram i will share for everyone to see hope you guys enjoyed this it's super easy and we'll see you in the next video